Let's start with Rock and Roller Coaster, starring... Aerosmith. Wow! The premise here is that you're taking a tour of G-Force Records, which supposedly has done albums with such rock legends as Queen, The Who, Springsteen, The Kinks, and... Um... Uh, anyway, you happen to be outside a recording booth, and there's Aerosmith. It's really them, standing behind a window that makes them look two-dimensional. And there's their manager, Ileana Douglas. Are you the Ileana Douglas who works at Ikea, or are you the one who plays the one who works oh. at Ikea? I'm both! Dude, she's getting naked! That's weird! She informs them that they're late for a concert. Wow, recording and a concert? It's a busy day to be Aerosmith. Just as they're saying goodbye, Steven Tyler gets a brilliant idea. Wait a minute! I love that idea! How about some backstage passes? Oh. Wow! I never knew Aerosmith was so nice to random strangers. If I ever see Steven Tyler on the street, I'm totally gonna demand a backstage pass to wherever he's going next. And apparently the parking garage is right outside the recording studio. Sure, why not? Okay, the setup is a bit silly, but Rock and Roller Coaster is a lot of fun. As a kid, I was terrified of roller coasters that go upside down. But after driving in real LA traffic, this is much less scary. Each car plays a different Aerosmith song in a new arrangement recorded specifically for the coaster. 